is that A, Bryce Harper has his breakout year. Trial, of course, will win, and win the MVP in the uh, AL because Mike Trout parents may have made a deal with the devil. I have not confirmed that with the Catholic Church yet. <laughs> but Bryce Harper, I think, wins the MVP in the NL. Um, I think Clayton Kershaw will not win the Cy Young in the NL. I think it will be a different pitcher. I think that Scherzer comes in. I think they do work. If Strasburg's healthy, I think with his stuff that he can come back and, and really be something this year. Um, yeah. uh, for the AL, I know that Corey Kluber is not going to win this year. No, he will not repeat. Mainly because he has to go against the Tigers. That's a strong division. He has a bunch of strong hitters in that division. Um, he's in the AL, which... If anybody looks at the numbers, an AL pitcher faces way more batters, and it's way difficult to keep consistency over American League year than it is a National League year. Just how, how the game works. But that still doesn't stop my ideal situation of abolishing the DH. It's just a bad idea. Pitchers should bat. Um, hmm. For the NL East... I have the Nationals winning it. I have the Mets if they can get healthy. Really surprising some people this year. Um, the Phillies I think will finish a strong three or four. The Marlins I think will finish, and they'll compete with the Marlins for that third or fourth spot, respectively. I also think that the Atlanta Braves will finish last. And the reason why I say that is because I, I just don't see what they're doing. I mean, I understand that Freddie Freeman's a great player, but there's nothing around him. There's no Evan Gaddis. There's no Justin Upton. No Jason Hayward, even though Jason Hayward never really developed as a offensive hitter. Um, hmm. Then let's move to the NL Central. I think the Cubs are going to make a run. I think they're going to surprise a lot of people. I expect them to compete either for that division or at least wind up in the playoffs. Um, of course, you have the Pirates. I think they'll finish secondary wild card. And the Cardinals, who... Cardinal Devil Magic, they'll, they'll win the division. Uh, moving on to the NL West, I think that the... I'm going to say that the... The Giants will not will not win that division, even though they're reigning World Series champions. I think that it will be down to San Diego. If San Diego can be who I think they can be, because they do have Justin Upton, they do have Garza, they do have all these players that that if they gel right, it'll be like Boston in the, not last year's World Series, but the World Series before that. Um, the Dodgers, the Dodgers, I think, have a problem where where if one well two things they don't have lost starting pitchers after Clayton Kershaw and Zach Greinke they just don't I mean if you're trying to tell me that Brandon McCarthy is going to be the de facto three man of that rotation it just doesn't look like that's happening no 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 um hmm. I guess let's move to the AL I'm going to say for the AL East I have the Red Sox. I think the Red Sox might actually surprise some, pe some people. Um, the Yankees, I think, will be... See, I don't think the Yankees are going to be that good this year. Mainly because they're aging so bad. They don't have anyone young. I mean, you're going to tell me that Teixeira plus an aging A-Rod are supposed to be your stars? Come on. No. No, no, no. That, that That's not how the league works. Or the majors works, but um, hmm. I think that Baltimore could really um could really come in and just you see my problem with Baltimore is they got rid of Victor Cruz or well not Victor Cruz Nelson Cruz Victor Cruz plays for the Giants of New York not the San Francisco Giants the Giants of New York the football Giants but um hmm. My, what I think might happen is Baltimore, Boston, or Boston, ba Baltimore, Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay, Toronto, 
New York. I think that Toronto, they've had some years where they bought all these players. They bought in they brought in R.A. Dickey, uh, Jose Reyes, and they haven't been able to gel. It's a lot like Toronto FC, actually, which is kind of sad that it's kind of soccer emulating baseball. It's odd. But um, I don't... If Toronto can gel with Jose Bautista there, meh, maybe. For the AL Central, I think that we could see maybe what might be the closest race in the for any division I'd watch the AL Central. If you had to pick one division if like if like your TV pro says you can only watch one division of baseball, I'd say AL Central. I think that um I wanna see if Detroit if they if they're not I'm waiting for them to regress. I know it's coming. Everyone knows it's coming. Verlander's not the person he was. David Price has He's an ace, but he's not that next level ace. He's not Clayton Kershaw. He's not a Zach Greinke. He's not 20 games automatic every day, every year. Um, Miguel Cabrera is old. Uh, Ian Kinsler is not a reliable power hitter. Um, I think that if if they win it this year, it's gonna be the last year they actually win it. Um, Next, I have to say the Indians. Uh, well, they have Kipnis. Kipnis is coming back. Um, they have Carlos Santana. They have Jan Gomes, who may or may not be the best catcher in baseball at the end of the year. He's gone good. Um, Corey Kluber ranks Cy Young where, even though I don't think that's going to happen again. Uh, the Royals. The Royals are going to be third in that division. No doubt about it. A, because I think that that team was a flash in the pan. I mean, I know that that in baseball you can kind of tell who's going to win and lose beforehand, but I think that, that team was just a flash in the pan. The Twins, I think, everybody's telling me they're strong. I haven't seen it. I haven't watched a lot of Twins games this year, but I don't think that they'll be at that level to compete yet. They might be rebuilding. I think that... Maybe in a couple years we'd have the Twins of old where they're in the playoffs every year because that division will eventually regress to the point where where they're in their current building mode while the rest of the team is in their regression mode, if that makes sense. So they're moving the rest of the league rest of the division is moving back, they're moving forward. The AL West, I think that um I think the Angels take it. They have the best player in baseball, Mike Trout. They have Albert Pujols, who I think is destined to have a good year this year. Um, two good starters. I think their only real competition in that division is the Mariners. The Mariners have King Felix, of course. Robinson Cano. And they have Nelson Cruz. So I think that they could compete if like, they like really surprise people. But I doubt that will actually happen in comparison. Um, my next pick, I'm going to have to say Oakland, simply because Billy Bean. I think that there's something going on there that we haven't seen yet, because everybody else is noticing that he's selling off a bunch of players and not adding great players back. He, it, he's in a selling mode, but he's not buying anything. He's not buying anything of value. I think his biggest offseason acquisition was Billy Butler. Billy Butthurt Butner? Butler? Billy Butthurt Butler. Um, and then you get the final two spots in that division. And I really think that it comes down to Texas. Are they going to be able to survive without you, Darvish? You, Darvish, probably the best pitcher in the American League, without a doubt. Now that Scherzer is gone, yeah, without a doubt, best pitcher in the league when he's healthy. He just went down with the UCL. That, that would be kind of a rough go of it. Um, the Astros, it's kind of like like last year we saw some great moments with the Astros. The year after that, who knows? It, it's kind of like I went from watching them just being terrible. In fact, I'm surprised that like during the trade deadline of their first season where they moved to the American League, 
that people actually wanted to buy their players. They were that bad. They were bad. Bud Norris ended up with Baltimore. Though I think that his opening night game was fantastic. I think he thought he pitched a fantastic game. Um, but then again, I'm just mildly rambling. It, it is a very long season. We have... Well, we haven't started yet because opening day is tomorrow. And I think that... That's 162 games. And I also think that... That... With the exception of the Astros and the Rangers... Any team can come and win that win any of their divisions. Is there's no like just destruct indestructible team this year. There, I'm thinking probably the closest indestructible team would be the Nationals. And the NL East is it's kind of like the NFC South if you want to think about it because no team is guaranteed a lock for the playoffs. Um, like, there's no, like, for example, um, for example, uh, what was I thinking of? The New England Patriots. There's nothing in that in the NL East. Um, 2008, you saw the Phillies, um, and then the Phillies fell off. And then that league was dominated for years and years by the Braves, but when the Braves, when their fake three left, I mean, there's no... So drink. But I don't think there's there's no indestructible team in, in Major League Baseball this year, with the exception of the Nationals. And even though they play in that odd division where anything can happen. Whew. Gosh, you know. As bad as it sounds, I thought I thought that making like a baseball preview show would be easy, but it's not. It is really not. Um, where is that going with this?